New orders just in, Jensen. The boss wants Pritchard to examine the Typhoon ASAP. Copy that. Thanks for the lift. No problem. Hey, and, uh, Jensen. I just wanted to say, new look suits you. Like, you haven't missed a beat at all. Thanks. So, how's it feel? Being augmented. Excuse me? Don't take it the wrong way. I mean, I've got a few neuro enhancements myself. Discreet ones to help me fly better. But I chose to get them implanted. You didn't. Now that you had a chance to try them out, what do you think? You're right. I didn't choose to get augmented. And I still don't know if I would have if given the choice. But today felt good. Surprisingly good. Dr. Reed said you'd take to them. Said it was in your genes. Just be careful, okay? A lot of people think there's a reason the human body rejects this technology over time. I didn't beg you for the type who gets caught up in metaphysical debates, Malik. I'm not. I told you myself, I've got neuro enhancements. I'm just saying the choices we do get to make inevitably have consequences. Yeah. Tell that to the bastard who did this to me. I hear you. And you know what? You're not the only person in this place who wants to find him. So if I can help in any way, all you gotta do is ask. Actually, there is something. I want to know about the first attack. Fine. Ask away. Did anyone else see them? The men who attacked? Not well enough to get a description. Pritchard got some fuzzy images off one of the Intellicams, but his tapes were all confiscated by Homeland Security. Homeland? I heard Homicide passed it over to Special Investigations. Detroit Special Investigations. They did. For the first month. After that... All I really know is, the case is still pending, and Mr. Seraph is not pleased. You were there that night. What do you remember about it? That it was chaos. First, everybody figured there'd been some kind of accident, but Pritchard couldn't get a good visual and communications were haywire. Then we heard the explosions. By the time anyone knew what had hit us... They were gone. Whoever they were, they were good, Jensen. Special training good. I've been thinking about why they attacked. What they were really after. Isn't it obvious? They didn't want us going to Washington. No, that was just timing. Hearings can be rescheduled. Somebody else can present Megan's findings. I don't think so, Jensen. They took out her whole team. Declan Faraday, Vasily Sevchenko, Nia Colvin, even Eric Koss. The labs their bodies were found in. Were burned to a crisp. I know. The only reason you weren't caught in the fire was because that retaining wall came down. Saved your life, believe it or not. So the whole attack... was just to destroy Megan's research? Sure looks that way. Mr. Seraph is hoping to reconstruct it, but it may take months. If he can keep us solvent that long. I'm gonna find him, Malik. One way or another. I believe you. And just so you know, when you do, I've got your back. I appreciate that, Malik, but right now... You've gotta get the Typhoon into the tech lab, right. See you later, then. Oh, and Jensen, the boss wants a face-to-face -face debrief in his office once it's secure. Roger that. Good night, Malik. What's up, ladies and gents? Welcome back. I'm your host, Sinistrain01, and of course, we've got more Deus Ex Human Revolution. Give me Deus Ex difficulty. Ghost walkthrough. Hopefully you're enjoying it with, of course, the graphics mod to make it look even more sexier than it was back in 2011. Hopefully you're enjoying it so far. So I've dumbed down the graphics a little bit, meaning that I took the resolution down, resolution down to 1440. Um, I'm doing this because I want to try to get that 60 frames a second uh, to give you guys as smooth gameplay as possible because that's what it's all about. Smooth gameplay is what you guys expect to see. Remember, if you do see any stutters or anything like that, that is because of the graphics mod and not the game running poorly. It's just that uh, there are a few instances here and there in every section that we get to that you will see uh, kind of things like that happen. Well, if it isn't Mahatma Gandhi himself, come to honor us all with his life-preserving presence. If this is about the typhoon, I'll get to it in a minute. Now, Pritchard. I didn't risk my neck to have you lose it in a pile of CPUs and scuzzy adapters. Well, look at you, using the big words. Don't think just because you hacked through the plant security system so fast that you're an expert on everything computer. There's a reason I can't examine the typhoon yet. Do tell. For your information, I am running a diagnostic sweep on our network and router security to find out how Sanders Hacker got a hold of our codes. I'd have thought the first question to ask is, whose codes were they? 
Unless you already know. Stick to kicking down doors and shooting people, Jensen, and stop trying to do my job. I guarantee you we'll get along better that way. I, I always find it weird the way that he says job. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to move on here. Uh, pick up a... Uh, we might have already looked at this one, I'm not really sure. Hopefully you guys can read the text and stuff a little bit better since it's in 1440 and not 4K. But as you can clearly see, it still runs, I mean, just buttery smooth. Obviously some sections will have some stutter and lag, but... Like right there, like, you'll see that, you know, ever so often. Alright, so we need to head up to Seraph's office. Which is why we are heading over here as soon as I can remember where it is. There it is. Alright, so you are not going to be able to completely ghost the whole game with the way that it's made. Obviously, you know. This is the director's cut, so boss fights and things like that have been definitely improved upon, but I will definitely be ghosting every single chance that I have that doesn't require me to kind of break the game. I'm telling you, Hugh, he might not have put the gun in Sander's hand, but it was Taggart's speech to the UN that started all this. William Taggart is nothing if not a shrewd political operator. You know that, David. So for the sake of appearances, I have to look him in the eye and let him bullshit me? With a smile. Always with a smile. We'll talk later. Yeah, you wanted to see me? Yeah, how are you feeling? I've had better days. Well, when we're done here, check in with Dr. Markovic at the Limb Clinic downtown. Get here to get a checkup. You insist. Listen, about Sanders? Yeah, about Sanders. What the hell were you thinking? Letting him slip away like that? I sent you in there to take care of things. And I did. The Typhoon is safe. Sanders didn't know about it. He didn't even know his hacker was augmented. He's not the mastermind behind this, boss. So you cut him a break? The man broke into my facility and took hostages at him. I thought you were ready for this. I am. Today's attack was just a shell game being run by somebody else. I intend to find out who and why so that it never happens to anybody again. Good, because so do I. That hacker in Sanders' group, you're sure he was augmented? I pulled his cables out myself. Yeah, well, the police are saying he's not, and they're refusing to let me see the body, no matter how much money I threaten to pull from their retirement fund. Maybe someone else is offering more. So what do you want me to do, boss? We have to get a look at the corpse. You've still got friends on the force. You think, uh... You think one of them will let you into the morgue? Depends who I run into. Get over to the station and find a way inside. Because if that hacker was augmented, his neural hub might tell us who he was. Contact me when you've gotten a hold of it. You got it. Alright, so obviously we have a few missions up ahead. And it looks like we can also upgrade. But we're going to wait on that. We don't need to upgrade just yet. Now, eh, I'm so debating whether or not I'm going to show you guys any side missions. Um, I'm sure there's going to be a few side missions that I'll probably end up doing just for the sake of getting extra points and uh, helping, you know, upgrades and things like that. But this is not going to be mainly like a showing you all of the side missions. This is going to be mainly a story walkthrough uh, done in the stealthiest and ghostliest manner possible. So with that being said, I just want to let you guys know that. So...
So I think what we need to do is head to my office, which I believe is a floor up. Adam Jensen, please report to your office. Yeah. <laughs> Like I said, when you see stutters and things like that, it is not based off the game. It is the graphics mod. You'll see that every now and then. But I just wanted to make sure you guys were aware of that so you so you, you don't think that something is completely wrong. Hey, Jensen. Glad to see you. Damn it. Now I sound like his girlfriend or something. Hey, Jensen. Man, it's good to see you. I'm glad you're back. How are you holding up? I manage. I'm sorry about Megan. I know it must be hard. For a while, we thought you were a goner, too. Everything's going to shit. The attack on HQ, and now this mess with the factory. Yeah. Tough times all around. How about you, Corella? You okay? I don't know. I... Uh, I fucked up. I mean bad. What happened? Well, a couple of months ago, me and Tyndall, you know, one of Pritchard's techs, we started sneaking out some neuropazine from one of the labs. Jesus, Tim. You realize this could get you fired. Worse, arrested, if the company chooses to prosecute. What were you thinking? I know. It's just... it's complicated. I didn't want to do it at first, but there were good reasons. Anyway, now I want out, but Tyndall has security footage of me stealing the stuff and says he'll expose me if I ever stop helping him. I'm in a bad spot, Adam. I need that footage back. I know you're busy with everything that's going on right now, but I could really use your help. Pretty ballsy stealing a patented drug from a secure lab. How'd you manage to do it? Both Tyndall and I worked the night shift every other week. I stashed the neuropocene in a bag while he edited the security footage. Guess he kept part of it. Neuropocene. What could you guys want with an anti-rejection drug for augmentation patients? Reselling it? Providing a competitor? Why do you automatically assume I was trying to turn a profit? How about Tyndall? Can't you reason with him? You could try, but Tyndall's a pretty driven guy. I mean, the guy's like a rock. You need a Casey Og or something to crack him. Casey? Social enhancer. It's an augmentation designed to read people's reactions and behavioral patterns. Higher end series even allows you to directly influence people with pheromones or something. What is it exactly you need me to do? I need you to get back that security footage Tyndall has on me. It's probably in his apartment, on his computer maybe. So what? I just look him up in the phone book? His apartment is near Brooklyn Court. It might be tough to get in because his building has a large security gate protecting it. Well, that's just great. Hacking the security gate is possible, but would require advanced hacking skills. You might have to look around for an alternate path. Maybe use the fire escape or something. And I should care about this because... Damn, Adam. Are you really going to shake me down like this? That's cold. I'm hurting here. Look, I may be able to get my hands on a weapon mod for you. Jeez, I never thought I'd have to buy your help. All right. Tell me more. Really? Wow. Thanks, Adam. I thought I was done for. The security footage will probably be on his apartment computer. Meet me in front of the subway station parking lot once you get a hold of it. I got it from here. All right. So, you know, like I said, uh, talking uh, different people will open up different submissions, side missions and whatnot for you. So... So, password is man drake. And of course, this password will get us into our computer here. And we have, uh, this is from when, uh, I don't know if you remember Greg Thorpe, the one that we saved with the hostages. Uh, he'll give you, um, some extra stuff. Now a lot of this stuff we're not really going to need because of the pacification kind of a way that we're going through the game. Uh, 
And another suspect in the thefts I caught in Zil going in my stack of... Look over everybody, address for a lawyer. You think you'd be able to come up with a better... His door code is 1364. And this is the camera systems. Nothing to, uh, nothing to look in here. I just want to make sure I don't, you know, forget anything here. We're going to be going through this walkthrough. It's going to be slow. It's going to be thorough. Uh, there will be some side missions, as I said, but not every side mission. Um, I will be taking my time. This is not a speed run. If you want to see speed run, there are plenty of videos out there for uh, everyone to watch. This is going to be going through the game the way that I feel that uh, this game should be played. I mean, also... You know, the game can be played in many ways, but I want to show you guys a more methodical, uh, thought-out walkthrough to uh, to kind of whet your appetite for Mankind Divided, which is coming out very, very soon, and something that I'm very, very excited for, having the chance to have played about two hours of the game um, already of Mankind Divided, and was just so pleased at uh, just the options for stealth and everything that you can do. Uh, really, really excited uh, to play that, so I know you guys are going to enjoy it as well. So I'll try to make these videos, you know, good, decent lengths, uh, as there's a lot of exposition and things like that in uh, each video, so. The objective screen details your current missions and objectives. In here, you can find extra information that may help you better understand what needs to be done. Missions can be activated or deactivated, depending on if you want them to appear in your radar or not. Deactivated missions can still be completed. Alright, so with some side missions, you will have to take out, like, uh, obviously we're not going to kill anyone, but you will have to do some takedowns in order to complete some side missions. So I wanted to let you guys know uh, that as well. So you're not going to be able to go through the whole game if you want to do side missions and things like that uh, with strictly, completely ghost. But this will be ghost for the main missions, uh, pretty much to the point, uh, painstakingly to the point, where it would be ridiculous to not, you know, like, there are some exploits where you can go through, glitch through walls and things, holding boxes to be able to get around, but we're not going to go that far, so if we have to take out someone here and there, then we'll do it, but, Mrs. Reed. you know, oh, you know what my purpose Adam, is. I'm sorry you startled me, and please, call me Cassandra. You and Megan were together long enough. I was waiting for you. Out here? Why not come meet me inside? I don't know. I guess I'm just not ready. This is where you work, but to me, this is also the place where I lost my daughter. I know what you mean. It's never been the same for me, either. I guess it's not meant to be easy. It seems there's just no right way to deal with something like this. And I can't even begin to imagine how things have been for you, after all you've been through. Yeah. A lot of things changed six months ago. I can't get over how much they've changed you. At first, I couldn't even believe you were still alive. How do you handle all of this? <laughs> I feel like we should do this one just because he says it. Um... Yeah, we're going to do it. We want to hear him say it. I never asked for this. Ha <laughs> there it is. <laughs> they say they saved me, but I'm not sure saved is the right word. I understand your anger. I wouldn't take too kindly to people making that kind of decision for me, either. But that being said, I for one am glad that you're still among us. Can I ask why you wanted to see me? Yes, of course. I'm sorry. I'm here about Megan. About what happened to her, or rather, about the investigation into what happened. What about it? Well, simply put, I feel something is not quite right with the way the case was handled. You think there was some foul play involved? I do. Call it mother's intuition. But when speaking to some of the investigators, there were a lot of inconsistencies. And then I met this detective, a man called Chase. He agreed things weren't handled by the book, although he has no proof. And now you want to find out more? I'll never hear my daughter laugh again, Adam. 
I'll never get a call from her to ask how I've been or have the chance to ask her about her day. She was stolen from me. However unjustified this all is, I still want to know why it happened. You're not the same, Adam. And we've yet to see if it's for better or worse. But I know you loved Megan. Please, will you help me find out what really happened to her? I feel like I don't even want to say that because that's that's not I, I would not do this for a reward so I feel like even saying it would be out of his character I never got a chance to investigate the attack myself I'll look into it thank you this means the world to me Adam really the first thing I'll need to do is meet with this detective chase good he works part-time as a security guard in an apartment building on Brooklyn Court. I'll be waiting for you in your apartment lobby once you're done. Why does a detective need to work part-time as a security guard? Oh, he retired soon after the case. I don't really know the details. Maybe he'll tell you more. I'm on it. Alright, so finally we have... Detroit open up to us now you will see a little bit of glitches and lag because of this mod so um, fear not it won't be uh, too difficult or won't be won't be too bad so first thing we're gonna do though is head to our main objective which is to go to the limb clinic so we can get some more augmentations I, I believe blue is side missions uh, you can talk to this lady right here and she'll give you information uh, for money. So if you want like easy information and you don't want to have to do things yourself, uh, if you have enough money you can come back, talk to her and she will kind of help things out. Right here there's always a glitch right here. Like for some reason looking at this section right there there's always going to be like a little stop and stutter and I think there's one here too. Yeah right there. See? <laughs> Doesn't matter what you do, it's just like I said, it's the, it's the mod, but I think it's still worth it just how beautiful it looks. It doesn't look as um, as gold as the original, and some people like the original gold. I'm I'm a fan of the way the game originally looked, but I want to show you guys just, you know, what normal people can do after the fact the game has been out for years, and uh, I think it's great. I think it adds like a lot of longevity to the game. It makes you want to play it years down the road. Ah, Mr. Jensen. David Seraph told me you'd be dropping by. I've just been reviewing the test results we received on you last week. Should I start rolling up my sleeves? Surprisingly, no. I see no trace of glial tissue buildup in any of your charts. It's been six months, Doc. Shouldn't I be under opposing shots by now? One would think, but these test results show no signs of implant rejection. If anything, the bond between tissue and electrode seems to be getting stronger. So I'm free to go? Well... Mr. Seraph did ask me to discuss another topic with you. You are aware that several precautionary measures had to be put into place during your first surgery? Not all of my implants were switched on, I know. The damage caused by the hematoma had to be taken into account. Your brain needed time to recover, to get used to the mechanical neural processors and turn them on naturally over time. Cut to the chase, Doc. What does Seraph want? He feels that you might be ready to speed up the activation process using special software known as Praxis Kits. You mean I don't have to wait for my augmentations to kick in naturally anymore? You can, if you prefer. But Mr. Seraph did make a generous donation to Lim in your name, thus ensuring that Praxis software linked to your particular neuro enhancements would always be available to you and you alone. Please. Take a look. You know, I always do find it a little jarring to have the the CGI kind of cutscenes mixed in with the real-time gameplay. Um, 
I don't think they're doing that for Mankind Divided because all of the cutscenes that we saw when I played the game was definitely in engine. So I think that was a big improvement. But uh, all right, here we go. So we're going to buy. Obviously, we're never going to use the Typhoon. One cool thing for Mankind Divided is the Typhoon will be um, non-lethal in Mankind Divided. So we will be using the Typhoon probably in uh, the next game. But for right now, it's only lethal. All right, so we've got... I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me, still trying to get over that sickness of mine. I apologize. So, obviously, the Praxis kits are what we need in order to upgrade. And we're going to go ahead and buy one. And that's all we have enough money for right now. Very well, Mr. Jensen. Use it in good health. We will be uh, doing some upgrades. Obviously, the upgrades that we use are going to be more stealth-oriented for a particular reason. Uh, we'll look around here a little bit. Again, some of these videos, you know, there might not be a lot of action in. Uh, just a lot of exposition and getting to know the story. I want you to get as immersed as possible. Dr. Chechery, call 217. Dr. Chechery, call 217. Hi there. Nice jacket. I am. I've never been under anesthesia before. Is it true they stop your heart and the machine does your breathing? More or less. I know it sounds a little hair-raising, but we do it every day, several times over. It's a very safe procedure. Will I feel any pain or anything? It gets done through your IV needle. You'll be asked to count backwards, and the next thing you know, you'll be opening your eyes. Totally just love the look of this mod. I think it adds just so much. Like I said, I was just trying to go around and take a look as much as we can here. I'll do my best that every video that uh, comes up will definitely be rehearsed when it comes up as far as stealth and everything goes. So I will be able to tell you exactly where you need to go when it comes to the actual missions. However, when we're kind of just roaming around and things like that, it'll be pretty much on the fly. Take it uh, one little bit at a time and uh, let's enjoy the game. Protesting is not against the law. I know that, officer. But some of those guys were carrying tire irons and setting garbage cans on fire. And those were the ones we arrested. The rest were merely exercising their right to free speech. What about my right to come to work each day without fearing for my life? I've still got to walk home tonight. I understand your concern. But if you want round-the-clock protection, I suggest you hire a private security company. I'm Adam Jensen. I can help out with that, sir. Go on in. We're still open. I never asked for this. <laughs> I just like doing that. Alright, well that's going to do it for this video. Um, we kind of went around, looked around a little bit. Now we're going to move on. Um, most likely we're probably going to do a few of the side missions just to kind of gain some stuff up. And then we'll take hold of the police precinct. Probably maybe in the next video or the one after that. I'm not 100% uh, sure, so let me know in the comments below, of course, Adam, what you guys like to see. Are you finished at the clinic? For now. Good. Right now I want to know who that corpse is. Head over to the police station and get his neural hub. And Adam, if you can't talk your way in, consider making a strategic retreat. There's got to be another entrance on the side of the building. Alright guys, so thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you are enjoying the videos. So far, I assure you there is going to be a lot of action parts coming up ahead very, very soon, but I really want you to get involved in the story. This is going to be a thorough walkthrough like you guys are used to having on the channel. I know it's been a while since we've done one of those, but um, hopefully you will enjoy, and of course, I will see you on the next video.
Peace out. Bitches.